for her body, what I did was I took some paper towels and I kind of folded it in this shape here and kind of bent it so that um, her body would kind of be in like a sitting position on the log. And I'm going to cover it with acrylic next and attach her head. And to make my fairy's face, I used a mold of this little statue. She's a mermaid statue. I used a mold of her face. And this is the mold that I used to mold her face with. And as you can see, here is my fairy's face, which I made with the mold of the little mermaid statue that I showed you. But it, you know, obviously it doesn't look the same. And that's the point, uh, you know, that I, I wanted to make here is that even though you mold a face, you can change um, the shape and look of the face just by adding more acrylic, like sculpting it, you know, like making her lips fuller, um, you know, putting her eyes on in um, gel, you know, and making ears and hair and just, um, you know, making higher cheekbones. You can change the shape of a molded face. And the mold was a, you know, was obviously flat on one side and what I had to do was to build up the back of her head with just more acrylic and then I figured when I added the hair that would also um, bring the head out to a more rounded shape. As you can see here on the stump that is a little piece of like the mushrooms or little fungus type things that grow out on the stumps and all that is is just a uh, big long nail tip that I've cut into sections like this um, and I'm going to put them on the stump or log uh, to make it look like um, those little mushrooms or fungus type things are growing out. And right here you can see uh, the long blades of grass here and those are my other three tips that I used. And I used these long stiletto tips here and what I did was I heated them with um, a lighter, or to be careful that you don't turn it black, but, and then I stretched it. I took my tweezers and I stretched it to give it that look that it looks like a blade of grass. And then the end, I trimmed it kind of pointed and you can see that there. And those are my other three nail tips that I used to, here is my little buddy, her little friend, the happy caterpillar. And he was made out of acrylic too, balls of acrylic that I molded and um, pushed together. And I, you know, made uh, his head too and um, put a darker green around the back. And of course his little ears that look like leaves and his little, um, little spots are cute. <laughs> and then of course I put some ladybugs on the blades of grass that I also sculpted and here are like I said the other two pieces of nail tip that I cut in a rounded shape and um, put them on and here is my fairy wings and they are completely made out of gel and how I got them to look like that is I used this um, silicone uh, rubber mat here that's uh, used for cake decorating and I put gel in that and then pulled it out and that is what it looks like when it is pulled out of the mold and then I cut it you know so that it would look like fairy wings and then I filled the uh, spaces in with a sparkly um, glitter gel clear transparent glitter gel and then I um, sort of you know went around the outsides of the wings with a um, gold gel paint and you can see her little crystals that she's holding, her crystal spikes. Those are made out of gel. And here's the mold for the crystals. I made my fairy's clothes out of acrylic too. They are all little leaves that I made, each one by hand. And I used several different colors of acrylic to achieve the color of green that I was going for. And each one, like I said, was made individually and placed on her individually as well and what I uh, when I sculpted the uh, acrylic leaves I just used the paper backing from a nail form while they were still kind of um, pliable I attached them to her so that they would curl and um, I could mold the shape of them to her and you can see her little leaf strap to her shirt her little top that she's wearing and 
more leaves in the back here. My fairy's arms and her legs were constructed out of pipe cleaners. Her little hands I sculpted individually on the back of a uh, the paper that a form comes on. And her feet actually are just the pipe cleaner curled up like that. And um, I applied green acrylic. And that is just a quick rundown on how I constructed my fairy. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.